All right, hey guys, and welcome to part two of my Batman Telltale series, episode three playthrough. This one's called New World Order. Last time, uh, Renee Montoya went off on her own, and uh, we talked to her, and she's gained the power of invisibility, which is very impressive. She basically did nothing, and we took down a whole load of thugs, and she was like, I'm going to stay here. We were like, okay, some guy was following Harvey, and he killed him supposedly in self-defense but i think his darker side starting to come out which is actually a pretty cool kind of thing we're going into and right now we're heading off to wayne tower to go talk to lucius about some evidence or something that we found so he's going to try and unscramble it for us so that's you caught up today and let's jump straight in with the rest of episode three new world order and by the way these loads are fucking terrible considering it'll be like oh look he's walking into a building now we have a big load so imagine playing it off the disc on an Xbox 360. Like, it, it must be like, way worse on that. So I, I guess just take enjoyment from the fact that it's not as bad as it possibly could be. Although we do have to put up with these bullshit glitches. Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. They die hard. To what do I owe the pleasure, Regina? I'm sorry. I just needed to clear my head. Sort things out. In my office? I know it's irregular. But it's nice to have a reminder of the Waynes every once in a while. In all their glory. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Whether to dismiss you or not. Well, that would be very rude. You have to understand, Bruce. This company is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... What my father... I'm not him, Regina. I would never compromise the lives of innocents for my own benefit. I know that, Bruce. But you have to understand that what the public wants to hear isn't always what we want to hear. The whole city is watching to see what our next move is going to be. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now! I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce! You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. When they fall, it's a terrible blow to everyone around them. Then go tell that to the board. What do you think I'm trying to do, Bruce? I'm not your enemy. You should remember that. Well, I'm not your enemy, bitch. Don't forget who your allies are, Mr. Wayne. Don't have any, it feels like. I'll come find you after. I'll be right down, Lucius. Unlock the secret entrance, okay. That's weird. So that's another thing that's another example where they're like, okay, let's just put in a random interactive thing so it doesn't seem like the whole thing's a cutscene. Yoink. Press up. There you go. Uh, I'm guessing eye scanner here. It's good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. I know the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. It doesn't matter what the board does. We'll be fine. I'm not going to let anything get in the way of what we're doing down here. Try saying that when you can't access this wing anymore. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. 
What have you got? Why haven't they thought about the fact that they might have a mole? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a back door into that tech... You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into this system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Well, no shortage of bad news lately. Might as well just pile more on. Well, you see this back door they're using. I built it. You? You bastard. What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. Uh... I was going to say I probably shouldn't have done that because then they're going to know that I know, but then they only did the GCPD one, at least so we know. I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's going to take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains. How did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. Whoever broke in certainly knew how to cover their tracks. We have a mole. There's no way they could have gained access without someone on the inside. Only a handful of people at the highest level could possibly find out about the back door. Stop saying back door. I'm gonna keep working on this children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. Okay, so we get to walk around for a bit. Check for upgrades and then hide your back tech. Okay, so let's have a look for... What do you mean check for upgrades? What are we doing? So a little stroll around uh, the lab. Is that a door? Can we go through the door? No, of course we can't. Literally, can we do anything with these? Okay, I guess talk to Lucius. So, anything new? This is gonna take some time. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I find oh, something. Oh yeah, we can move the little cursor thing around with that right stick. I forgot about that. I was just, just walking up to it like in there, because I've been playing Life is Strange so much. Uh, Tiffany's really taking after She's you. She's got your afro. And Luke, stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become. And I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. Beautiful. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. Phalanx chipset. Newly elected Mayor Harvey Dent gave a rousing speech late last night, refuting claims that the children of Arkham were gaining control in Gotham. Despite his run-in with the masked group on the way to the event, people are still hopeful that Mayor Dent can pull through on his campaign promises. People like the children of Arkham want to tear us apart. They want to burn everything that we've built to the ground. They don't choose to see the good in this city. But I do. Batman does. And we will fight to protect that goodness. Because we are not the children of Arkham's playthings. We are proud citizens of Gotham, and this is our city. Next up, we speak to Commissioner Grogan regarding increased security measures city- Yeah, fuck Grogan. So you have some tech stuff on the table here. So we've got cowl, batarang. Look at the batarang, yes. Hmm, this is a batarang. <laughs> that literally is it. Look at the back grapple, okay. Look at the back grapple. Not sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selena. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. Did he just roll his eyes? Thermal vision? <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? 
Sticky bomb? Why does Batman need a sticky bomb? Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. Why not slowpoke? Table. <laughs> yes, look, this is a table. Oh, you've been you've been busy inventing this table. I always wonder why you had a table that could hide itself. Guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me. It was much more paranoia than precaution. And sticky bomb, I think. Yeah. There we go. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. Uh, I think it looked like that was everything. Yeah, okay, I guess hide table. Where's he going? It's so weird. Wow, genius. That fucking works so well. <sighs> Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. Uh, before you do... They'll never think that there's something under that metal door on the floor. Here. Get that back to the bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. So you see how he's got them like kind of cool lifts in this one? Uh, in the Batman TV show, which is like one of my, I think it's my, it's my favorite Batman uh, cartoon. It's the one that I like watched as a kid. Uh, he has like, it's basically like a fireman's pole, but you can like grip it and it like travel you up and down. So the, in that one, it's like really tall. And yeah, and you can like grip onto it and it's got like this kind of magic suction thing. And you can just like hold onto the pole and it'll like zip him up and down between the floors. And it's like really awesome kind of, just an awesome concept that they came up with. This is kind of really inventive, you know? Mr. Wayne, Bruce, open up. I thought maybe you'd left. Yeah, right. Well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Fuck off! Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. We were out of options, I'm afraid. This is just a temporary setback. Well, that's entirely up to you, Bruce. You need to prove to the board that you can be trusted in the seat. Just lie low. Don't cause a scene. It'll turn out. I asked to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I see where they're coming from. Well, you should have fought harder. The board would have listened to you. They'd already made up their minds. I did what I could. You have to trust me on that. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. Wow, they've got a great fucking choice of guys, don't they? What a chilly greeting. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. 
This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Oh, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine... I hear you've been keeping yourself pretty busy, Oswald. You sure you can handle this? I mean, wasn't there a revolution that you had to handle? I'm a brilliant multitasker. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly well, he's a already figurehead. Got into his, uh, powerful Don't make this harder than it has to be. Uh, stand by the window pose. You might want to check your facts, Regina. That resume sounds a little too good to be true. You might want to have more confidence in your own board. His resume checks out, and his references were all glowing. You're quite welcome to call them yourself. That won't be necessary. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. That's cool, Sean. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Oh, Bruce and I can handle it. No trouble. Pick it up. Now! No, no, it's all right. Bruce has been through enough today, hasn't he? Oh. Looks broken, I'm afraid. Not a good sign, is it? Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. I think that maybe I'll add a fish tank. You're not getting away with this. I'll make sure of it. Oh? Oh, is that a threat? I'm terrified. I don't need to threaten you. This way, Bruce. I do like uh, Bruce's suit in this one, though, I must say. I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. His accent sounds different from the first one. Is that just me? Unless when he's penguin, he puts on more of like a, a gruffer voice, but he sounds very kind of weaselly, which I guess is good if they're trying to make him a bad guy because you want him to be dislikable. Because one of the good one one good trait in a bad guy is that if he's like punchable, then it means that he's good at being a bad guy because you're like I could be the fuck out of this guy. It happened, didn't it? They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. Think you can keep an eye on things while I'm gone? I... I don't know. Come on, Lucius. Lucius. Help me out here. I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. But... No, Lucius, I need you to stay here. But... You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. Do you know what would have made sense if he would have just been like, okay, come work for me, but... Keep that drive safe. Can you have some sort of like little tiny microphone that you can stick on the wall? Somewhere that they won't like replace or paint over it or something. And then that way I can listen in to all their stuff. Or just give me a way so that I can hack into their computers and look at their emails and their search history and see what weird porn they've been watching on my amazing Wayne Enterprises laptops and stuff like that. But instead it was either, 
Okay, come work for me as Batman, or just stay over here and tell me what they're doing. Could have done both. In, in the real world, could have done both, but whatever. And considering this is one of those kind of interactive, basically like interactive TV show, I can't see us not having more gadgets really playing that much of, a, of an effect. I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. Bruce Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. Yeah, I wouldn't mind easy for a change. Someday. <clears throat> uh, Lieutenant Gordon, he said there's nothing to be done about Oswald Cobblepot. All his records are spotless. He needs proof to dig further. Penguins slippery, all right. Well, penguins generally are. Have you not seen Mr. Popper's penguins? With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Check Lucius's drives. All we can do here, yes, because we don't really care about the other shit. What's it? Okay, let's look at the, the news thing. So, as usual, I'll like, kind of skim through it. If you're that interested, you can pause it. Uh, but usually, like in Life is Strange, you just like read them all out, but I'm not really that fussed. It's just kind of what we already know. So, basically, they are talking about Harvey Dent and his kind of uh, altercation. Uh, also, they are trying to invoke that Batman and Catwoman are partners. So maybe they're trying to say that Batman's an evil guy and they might be working together for nefarious means. Uh, okay, mysterious compound found in Gotham Warehouse. This one seems interesting. So this is this the warehouse that we went to in the opening episode? Oh, cool, Ace Chemicals. Okay, that's another reference. That's where Joker fell into the vat of chemicals that turned him into Joker, in case you didn't know. I mean, most people know that by now, but just saying. Okay, so people are unhappy that he won because there wasn't any opposition and they wanted Bruce Wayne to resign, which he did do. No statement has been released from Mr. Wayne and his representatives, but unless action is taken against him, the city of Gotham will continue their demands for new blood within Wayne Enterprises. So that you, there you go, that is your kind of news for the, for the episode, so let's carry on and look at Lucius's drive. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known children of Arkham activity. Okay, we have like a, a butt ton of places to look at. Ooh, Arkham Asylum. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. No shit. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. I forgot his dad was a doctor. These date back decades. Even though we saw it in the last I've episode. read the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. Okay, we'll just go in order. Fucking hell, see Hall. Uh, listen to. Well, I. Yes, yes, I know it takes time. But... Understatement of the century. Considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes, just please let me know when it happens. 
The children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I <sighs> suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell that the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? Give me a minute, give me a Not minute. Not yet. Oh my god, he rolled his eyes again. This is such a sassy Batman. Sassy Bruce. Uh, view records. City Hall. Record of Gotham Mayors. Hill had been in office for so long, it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't mayor. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased two weeks before the election. Okay, so what else we got? We have the courthouse. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. That's true. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. Yeah, totally. Commissioner Gordon's a good guy. Okay, I guess we'd better go in uh, warn Harvey. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. <laughs> She's got hair this time. Welcome back, Mr. Wayne. You can go on in. It grew in quick. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back door. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, just get it done. What? No, 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 no press conference. Just tell them to reschedule. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. No rest for the wicked. Uh, hey, Harvey. Jesus! 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 Don't sneak up on people like that! I wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Whoa, whoa, what is your problem? You're being a bit erratic. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bruce. I'm just a little shaky. My nerves are totally shot. Uh, did anyone follow you? D no. What? Uh, good. No, that's, that's good. You could never be too careful. My mayoral portrait is scheduled for this morning. Guess I don't really feel the part right now. I've been looking forward to this my entire career. Thought I'd win in a landslide, I'd be loved and supported, but this... I don't know, it just all feels different. I feel hated. Like the city's against me. It's like I don't fit. It's like I don't deserve it. After all, is it really a win if it's by default? Trust me, Arv. You were born to do this. You're the only person that can make a difference here. His his bruises have not healed at all. A part of me thinks you're just lying to make me feel better. God, the mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's gonna take months to get everything back on track. I can't get the phone to stop ringing. The city's been in an uproar since the- Hold on, Harvey. You're acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Just tell me. Are we being watched? What is going on? Look, don't freak out, but I think the children of Arkham are listening in on you. Oh, that You're face in is danger. Funny. They could have tabs Blah. on everything that goes on. Like Mr. Poe when he sees Sonny driving the car and uh, where you're going. Series of unfortunate events. Damn it! God, I knew it. I knew it had to be true. Bastard! 
bastards. They're like cockroaches. I've had this feeling for a while that I'm never alone anymore, that I'm always being watched. Don't go near the window, you may get shot. The children of Arkham, they, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried at the debate and they will try again. How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there at the back of my mind. I feel like I am trapped in a nightmare and I can't get out. Everywhere I go, I am terrified. I'll turn a corner and come face to face with the children of Arkham. So get rid of them. It'd be easy for the mayor of Gotham to make them outlaws. Declare the children of Arkham public enemy number one. Everyone in Gotham will want to turn them in. Yes, great. But how? I don't have nearly enough force behind me to bring them to heel. You know what I should do? The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You've got to strike fear into their hearts. Maybe break a few bones along the way. But something's holding him back. I mean, just think. Imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. He won't have the GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. He'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. I know he's a vigilante, but Batman's always respected a lot. I don't think he'll change his ways anytime soon. Then he's limiting himself. Batman works outside of the law. He's the only one getting anything done in this city. I mean, imagine, just imagine if we had an army of vigilantes just like him. It'll be a new Gotham. A better Gotham. We can use the children of Arkham's methods against them. If they want to play dirty, we'll play dirty. Harvey, look, you've been under a lot of stress, especially with all the trauma recently. Maybe, maybe you should- Don't tell Harvey what to do, Wayne! Don't you dare. Oh, God. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I guess I just lost myself a little bit there. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. You'd think you would have got like a makeup artist if he's getting photographs done. Please, Bruce, don't tell anyone about this. I was just, you know, thinking out loud, that's all. I didn't mean any of it. It's just the stress of the job kind of gets to me. Look, Harvey, that therapist you told me about, I think you should call her. Maybe she can help you work through whatever this is that you're going through. management issues. Just think about it, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. He's a very wide man. Wider than us, which is kind of weird. <sighs> See you around, Bruce. Since we're like the big, meaty Batman fuck. Hmm. An interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. She is the leader. It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Yeah, if she's been able to talk to their leader, then by extension, so can we. You think she'd hand that information over to Bruce Wayne? Unlikely. I stonewalled her at the GCPD after Falcone was shot. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? Mm, hey. Hello? I think you know exactly who this is. Batman. Investigative journalism suits you. <laughs> I, I like to think so. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Not there again. I wonder what would happen if you did like a playthrough where you only did the, the don't say anything route. That'd be pretty funny. All right, there you go. That is the middle two chapters done. And uh, like I said last time, we're going to do two chapters per part. So that is part two of my episode three walkthrough. So I'll see you guys next time for part three, where we finish off this mother 
and uh, get to the end. So thanks for watching, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot, guys.